Right, it's um, with an O's birthday, so we are off for a, a one night wild camp. A uh, different spot than we've been to before. It's up the Peak District, but a different spot. As you can see, the beard's coming along nicely, complete with the uh, badger chin. Um, I'm in the Levu tonight. It's got a bit cooler. Uh, I'm getting older. I'm lightweight. And uh, I just, I love camping in the Levu. I've got all these posh high tech tents and everything at home. And uh, I still prefer to sleep in a 30 year old Polish army tent. Um, and then my black one that I've got, I'm actually giving it to Darren. If you haven't seen that one before. That's his birthday present, so I'm going to set that up for him. I think John's in the hammock. Andy will just be in his tent as normal. I don't know if Simon or Matt or anybody else is coming up. But um, yeah, I'm in middle of boot tonight. I'm also trying out an army 12 hour ration pack. So I'll film that and it's got a, like a self-heating bag, which I've seen on the internet look really cool. So obviously a soldier can cook some food in the field, he hasn't got to worry about smoke or giving him uh, lighting a fire and giving his uh, position away. So I'm going to try that out. I mean a little meths cooker for in the morning to make a brew in the Levu because it always warms it up nice. Um, also, I'm going to do 99% of me filming on this trip on what I'm using now, which is my Galaxy S8. I haven't brought me um, Canon GX7 Mark II. I've just, I have got my SJ7 Star, my little action cam. Um, but I'm going to try and film as much as possible on this. Um, other news is, I've just ordered myself the Xiaomi Meteor 3.5K action cam. That should be coming in a few weeks' time on a slow boat from China, um, Hong Kong. Uh, I've ordered that ready because, middle of October, I'm, I hit the big 5-0. And the last week of October, I've organised a trip for me and my family, going across the Scottish Highlands. want to get some 360 footage. Obviously, Scotland is renowned for rain that seems to go in all directions at once. So that's why I've uh, ordered that. Uh, I've also got on my wish list one of those smooth, cute gimbals for my birthday so that I can get some nice stabilised footage. I've only got to get a DJI Spark and then uh, I'm kitted out for my YouTube stuff. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. One night away with the lads in the Levoo. Gonna chill out, get some footage done, review of the army food, some shots from around the moor, and uh, as usual, thanks very much for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this weekend away. Cheers. spot overlooking the drop the one where I set up the German army flecked on tent last time lads have just gone for a walk then the time lapse setting up the Levu uh, with an OB a bit later um, his Levu he's using one of my old Levus which I'm giving him for his birthday that's down in the car so we'll get that I'm just doing a time lapse of the sky and it's beautiful it's really quite warm so I'll just give you a quick tour around the camp normal beautiful view behind it's supposed to be 14 mile an hour winds gusts at the moment but it's absolutely still up here and uh, birds are singing that bird in the distance camp behind me beards coming on quite nice can't grow it on my head grow it on my chin though both the lads are in hammocks Oh, sorry, no, tell a lie. John's in a hammock, Andy is in his tent, as normal. John's got his hammock set up. I just wanted to sit here and have a beer and relax. Yeah, it is, it's absolutely still. And it's quite mild, it is beautiful. 
Got my British Army lined winter jacket on now. Keep me warm tonight. I'll try my army rations in a bit. So, um, just a relaxing weekend away, really. Just a night away from home. Not even 24 hours away, but it's just nice to get away. Now, as I mentioned on the way up, I'm the big 5-0 in October. Quite a mature YouTuber. And my plan is, on the Sunday I'm driving up to Dumfries and we're stopping in a posh pod with a hot tub. Then on the Monday, driving over to Glencoe and we're in a Hobbit pod overlooking Loch Leven. Then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're in an eco pod in Loch Ness. Then on the Friday, we're going over to a luxury apartment overlooking the Leith in Edinburgh. So I'm hoping to get loads of footage when we go there. Probably split it down by day. Not quite sure how we're going to charge everything up, but I'm taking all the cameras. I'm taking the uh, 70D G7 X, G7 X Mark II, um, all my cameras, all my batteries. Get as much footage as we can. Just ordered this uh, Xiaomi Media 3.5K, the 360 camera. I think I might still keep me Samsung. Still like the Samsung, and they're so cheap anyway. For how much money you get for them, it's not worth it. Uh, the media though, I got it from Gearbest. And they're doing an international version, which I've been told still works with the English app. I hope so, because I can't read Chinese. Um, £158, and I paid £6 for insured delivery. I don't know if I'll have to pay any um, uh, import tax on that. I'll let you know when it comes through. But I'm hoping that gets here in the next two to three weeks. And it's obviously, it's more or less waterproof, which should be great for Scotland, even though I hope it's like this. Um, should be beautiful colours on the trees when we go so it should be a, a really good week away last time I went to the Scottish Highlands was 27 years ago easy I went to the Scottish borders for my 40th and hired out a cottage near a lock and it was middle of nowhere it was beautiful um, called the roughly um, google it beautiful place um, no electric they put solar panels in now but there was no electric just gas bottle open fires absolutely beautiful um, that was available for the week but decided to do a bit of a tour this time um, and I've never actually I've driven past Loch Ness but I've never been and obviously Lily she's fascinated with uh, the, the prospect of the Loch Ness monster so we have a boat trip out on the loch and uh, I'm hoping it's a good week so uh, hopefully I can get loads of footage for people for that I hope you enjoy that one so yeah, I'm just going to get bits and bobs, a bit of footage of doing the, the food review, army food review this evening. Um, and it's just a chill. I, I just hope you enjoy our shenanigans as normal. Looking forward to when weather now gets here. But... Uh, <coughs> A little look inside my gadget bag. This is my little low pro messenger. I think it's the messenger 150 which I carry. I've got me uh, SJ7 tucked away inside, little flexible tripod and uh, UV filter on the front. That cost me about, if I can get that to focus, cost me about three pound from your best. Oops. So yeah. Little filter on the front. See how that comes out. Selfie stick, which I use for my phone. Smattery, really good. Got that off Amazon. I'll put the link on. Really, really good. That's the remote for the SJ. And it's got uh, Standard quarter inch screw thread at the bottom, so you can set it up on a tripod. I normally use this, which is me Manfrotto, and this is the one with the extendable legs on. Really clever. But my latest little toy that I brought, this is mint. This is a power pack. Yeah, a power pack. Oops. But. 
it's a KINPS, K-I-N-P-S, but as you can see, it's 25,600 milliamp. It takes ages to charge it up, but it's a right weighty thing, but it's brilliant to carry. 21 pound off Amazon. It's massive. You could do a whole week away with this bugger charging your phone up. Very, very impressed with that. Yeah, just got me cigs and stuff in there. And a little clip on lights so that I can do some filming tonight with me. Galaxy S8. But uh, the battery pack, I've got loads of different ones. And uh, two USB ports. And it's smart charging so that it knows how much voltage the items that you're taking in need. Sorry about the lack of focus. Uh, micro USB to charge. It's not got a light on or anything like that, but it, it, it's solid metal. It's aluminium. It's a fair weight. You could cudgel somebody quite easily with this. £21 off Amazon. Model KP S012. That's the one. Input 5 volts 2 amp. Total output 5 volts 3.5 amp. Made in China. Very, very impressed with that. Might even get another one. I was going to get a solar power charger as well for when I go to Scotland, but there's not going to be much sunlight. So I might get another one of these, because I'm not sure how much power we're going to get. But um, if you're going away and you've got charge up e-cigs and mobile phones and tablets and things, 20, over 25,000 milliamps. That is incredible. Heartily recommend. Good reviews on it. Very very impressed indeed and the finish on it is brilliant probably get scratched a bit you gotta look after it but very very impressed and as i mentioned earlier i'm sitting here having a beer look at that for a view spectacular just uh, Pulling up on the lay-by, hopefully. So I'm going to go down to him. The lads are still out for a walk, so I'm going to have a wander down, give him a man get the stuff up. And then we can do some time-lapse of the sun going down. It's been nice. I've sat here for the last couple of hours on my own, chilling out, lost in thought. It's been lovely. So, I'll catch you in a bit. Remember when love was all that mattered? I do Remember how I used to make you love Until it hurt Now those memories felt like thorns on the path A rose I can no longer touch So I'm going to cook my army tea I have in this bag, sausage casserole, raisin sultanas and crunch fruit mix, mixed bay biscuit, something peanuts, peanut butter, caramel cereal bowl, black currant bowl sweets, sausage drink, raspberry, grapefruit drink, black currant drink, and then in this bag I've got my tea, coffee, and everything. So that's my main meal: sausage casserole. Raisins and sultanas, drinks, paper, that's windy, honey peanuts, nice, mixed oat biscuits which are a bit broken, and a cereal bowl. And then this is the cooker. So I'm going to put some water in this for my food now, Let's see what happens. Brilliant. 12 hour pack, all fits in there, very good. Alright, so you put your unopened food bag inside, there's the heater pouch. Fill the water up to that level there. And then it takes up to 12 minutes. Fold that over, fasten it with this tab. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, in the other bag that comes in the kit, 
you get four alcohol wipes, a spork, plastic, try for eating with, tea bag, Kenko Smooth Coffee, water purification tablets, two powdered cream, dental care, because obviously you can't brush your teeth in the field, and sugar. And that's what I'm going to have in the morning. And I'm lying inside there, inside my lavoo. How cool is that? My food is getting quite bloody hot. You can actually see it boiling. If you look there. Gives a whole new meaning to boil in the bag. I'll let you know what it's like in a minute. Right. Let's test this. Bloody hell it's hot. Tell you something, you could shove this in the bottom of your sleeping bag. And it would warm your feet up in the winter. I don't know how hot the food is, huh? There we go. It's steaming. Sausage casserole. That's hot. It's not red hot. But they're designed to eat them cold anyway, aren't they? Hmm, it's like a gelatinous mass. Oh, it's good enough to save you. There goes nothing. <laughs> no. What I personally would bring on the mall. It's a bit bland. To do with a bit of It'd be alright if you had some spices and it's not as hot as it actually you think it would be but considering I haven't used the cooker that's that's not bad don't try yeah I'll have a go let me get you a bit of sausage a bit of potato cheers mate there you go That'll do when you're stood in a trench, cold, wet, pissed off. Yeah. That'd be good. That'll be Waiting for your now. stag to finish. You've only been on for ten minutes. Not mate, I'll switch that off and then I'm going to eat my food. Thank you very much, Darren. It's nice to have a cameraman. There you go. There's, <laughs> there's the cameraman. There you go. Oh, you lot are cooking all that lovely meat. I'm having the rest of my army food. I'm having... Only peanuts, peanut butter, mixed berry biscuit, which is a bit broken, and a cereal ball. Caramel. Look at you. Hey, posh there, mate. You look lovely. Right, I'm in the lavoo. And I've got my little mask bin on because I'm doing a hot chocolate. And it gets damn warm in here with these little burners on. Really feel the heat in here now. And this isn't even burning for about five minutes. But uh, yeah, I've got my little Tatonka mug from Amazon. My little mess burner, I'll just show it you now. And I'm doing myself a hot chocolate with whiskey. Very nice. It's about quarter to midnight now. And he's lightweight. He's gone <laughs> to rest his legs. Stretch his legs and then just have 40 wings, but we won't see him till tomorrow. It's a bit cool. Sky's clear. Beautiful evening. Been a good fire. It's great. It. Yeah, I've got my little burner going. In fact, I can hear it boiling already. I'll just show you in action now. And then I'm going to go back to the fire and have my hot chocolate. Lovely. Right, this is it's steaming already. That's my Tonka mug. 
There you go. Nicely boiling water. Little mass burner inside the lavoo, which we're going to snuff out now. There you go, gone. And then the lid, all that Tonka, you can see the one that came with my little Stanley cook set, which is here. And the Stanley came with two insulated mugs which I've got one here that's a Stanley insulated mug sorry about the shadow and that came inside two of them came in here and then I brought the Tonka mug which was about nine pound off Amazon you can tell I like Amazon stuff so it's good value and uh, as I said the lid doubles up because the Stanley lid that came with it fits on top of there when you're cooking and obviously your boil time is reduced and you've got a lid on so yeah nice little setup and as you can see inside here which is inside the liver here at night loads of room Dead cosy. If you're into wild camping, all I can say is get a levu. You will not regret it. Right, I'm going to do my hot chocolate. <laughs>